Hey, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We've got a really cool bomber bottle to review with you guys tonight from the Ballast Point Brewing Company out of San Diego, California. This thing is called Tongue Tickler. I mean, how cool is that name? It's a Tongue Tickler Imperial Red Ale. Uh, Ten dollars for the bomber. Before I do the review, it was interesting. I, I've watched people in stores recently. I don't know if it's an, an economy thing or what, but at the $10 and, a, and above bomber bottle, people will look at it and they'll go, God, that's cool. And then they'll put it back down. And then they'll go get one for like seven or eight bucks. It's almost like $10 is that teetering point of whether you buy it or not. But I mean, typically these beers um, are well worth worth the money. I just thought I'd throw that in there. So it's got this really cool label of this pirate um, and this skeleton over here as he rips his tongue out. Um, let's see, what can I tell you about it? It's supposed to be big, bold, hoppy, IBUs are 108, ABVs are 10, um, I've never had this before. I bought this about three, four weeks ago, and it's been sitting in my, uh, s my beer cooler waiting for this moment here. It's got a really cool label on it, um, this Ballast Point, um, brewing bottle cap here. Let's see, what else can we tell you about it before we pour it? Um, it says, this, this Imperial red, red Ale does not pull any punches. It's a big brew with lots of hops, malts, and they have all in extreme abundance. Um, it tests the limits of your palate, yet, yet while the timid should take warning, the tongue tickler generously rewards the bold with an exceptional ale experience. I love that. An experience. That's why craft beer has become so popular. It's an experience. It's not just open up a can and slug it down. You savor it, you look at it, you smell it, you talk about it, you make videos about it, you have websites about it. It's awesome. So here again, never had it before. Looks like your typical red ale. Uh, very, very, very filtered. A little bit of carbonation, not much. Real cool kind of, kind of, uh, uh, it's not a white head, but I would give it a little more of that kind of brownish, kind of typical red ale head, but not too thick. Not a huge aroma at all, actually. It's not, I expected one. Doesn't smell like much. It smells a teeny tiny bit of hops, but for I've used 108, uh, it's, it smells like I've used of 8. Smell a little bit of malt, a little bit of caramel maybe. Um, not much aroma at all, which I am very surprised about, but we've been told it's bold. Let's check it out. Ooh, oh, all right. So it tastes nothing like it smells. It's extremely, wow. It's very sweet on the back end. It is what I would call a very full body beer. It fills your mouth with flavor and holy cow that is really good that is nothing like what it what I anticipated um, it's got a little bit of I don't know what I wish I knew what the fruit was but it's kind of got this little fruitiness to it but then it, when it hits your your palate it kind of explodes in your mouth it's one of those beers that I say look out hold on tight because it's not what you expect um, dang, that's good. Um, how do, I don't know how to describe this because you can tell there's hops in it, but it's not very hoppy. It's not at all malty, in my opinion. I mean, it's got malt. You can tell there's malt flavors in there, a little bit of maybe caramel t toffee, but very little. It's more of on the fruitier, fru fruitier, fruity tooty side. Um, it, it it just literally it, it hits your your mouth that it explodes in your mouth with this array of flavors. I mean, it is, I don't know where it says on here, it says uh, big and bold. It's big and bold. It's fruity tooty. I don't know how else to describe it. It's good. It's really, really, really good. It's smooth. It doesn't have any kind of bite to it at all. It's It doesn't have any, like, massive hop what I would call hoppy flavor but you can tell there's a hot background 
God, this is like, this is what I call dangerously drinkable. It's easy to drink. It's 10%, 108 IBUs, and God, it's good. I mean, this is awesome. This is one of the better beers I've had in the Red L category in a very long, very long time. Um, I would give this a four and a half on our rating scale at least. I mean, this is almost a, for a Red Ale, this is one of the best I've ever had. For $10 from the Bomber, it's definitely worth it. I will buy another one of these. Um, I mean, it's 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 hard to describe because with having used 108, you know, you're used to real hoppy flavors. You're used to all the, you know, the, the new trend with the fresh hops and the wet hops and the, everybody doing everything, you know, uh, you know, uh, 90 days and then it's, it's, it's bad. I mean, this stuff is good. Um, it's different. It's very different. It's, it's, it's got a little bit more sweetness to it than what an IBU of 108, but it's got a drinkability that is phenomenal. So I've, I've rambled on long enough. I like it a lot. I'll definitely buy it again. Um, definitely worth the money. Let me know what you think. Leave us a comment on YouTube channel or our website we would appreciate that very much because we love it when other people tell us what they think about it because this is one of those beers not everybody's going to buy so if you're watching this video odds are you're considering buying it so i would buy this this is definitely a ten dollar bomber worth the money thanks for watching see you again real soon cheers